Subtracting finite element data from digital image correlation measurements is easier than many people think. Hello, my name is Michael Sutton, and in this video, I will give you an overview of the process of subtracting finite element simulation results from DIC measurements using Correlated Solutions VIC 3D software. The procedure for pointwise comparison of FE predictions and DIC measurements involves just a few steps. First, we obtain a common coordinate system for both measurements and FE model. Next, we convert FE output data into a format we can work with. We then resample the FE mesh results to obtain values at the measurement locations for subtraction from the DIC data. Finally, we visualize the results in our VIC3D software, creating plots and animations. We will use an Abacus FE model for illustration. The example in this video is a baseline experiment regarding wrinkling of composite toes during high-rate manufacturing. On the left is a fixed grip with a moving grip on the right. You can get an idea of the speckle distribution from the magnified view of the sample shown here. During the experiment, the right grip is moved to five positions along a circular arc without toe adhesion. The specimen immediately buckles and our goal is to quantitatively compare measured and model displacements for the entire sample. High contrast markers at known positions on the base plate are used for registering the coordinate systems. VIC3D computes the 3D coordinates of the markers and automatically determines the DIC to FE transformation matrix. The composite toe model was implemented in Abacus and used about 2,300 quadratic shell elements with just over 7,000 nodes. The specimen's left edge was fixed and a displacement boundary condition was imposed on the right edge. This boundary condition was determined from the DIC measurements. A simple script, available from CSI support, was written using the Abacus Python module to access and convert the model data into a format usable in VIC3D. For the actual data subtraction, we used another script that is part of the VIC3D Python integration module. The script uses a KD tree for efficiently finding an approximate correspondence and then determines the closest point on the FE mesh by searching a small neighborhood. The finite element data is then interpolated using element shape functions and subtracted from the measurements. The data subtraction script is also available from Correlated Solutions support. The last step is visualization. All animations shown here were completed within the IRIS workspace of VIC3D. Here, DIC data is on the top left, FE results on the bottom left, and the difference plot is on the right. For displacement U, the plots on the left are nearly identical, yet the DIC minus FE plot on the right shows differences of about 1.3 millimeters. The situation is similar for the V component, which shows maximum differences of 1.5 millimeters while the individual data plots look nearly the same. The results are similar for the out-of-plane component W with differences between plus and minus 1.2 millimeters. The following animations show the difference plots in more detail and illustrate some of the animation features available in VIC3D. Most plot properties such as scaling, positioning, viewing angle, opacity, and many more can be animated in the VIC3D Iris Animation Engine. Also note the smooth animation obtained from just a few measurements. These capabilities can be applied to any DIC or finite element data visualization, including quantities such as strains, velocities, and even temperatures when using synchronized IR cameras. Details for the experiment and model shown here are available in an article published in Experimental Mechanics by Mr. Srihari Rajan who made the FE and DIC data available for this video. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you have any questions, you can obtain additional information on combining finite element and DIC data by contacting Correlated Solutions.